Peace and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, you all, unfortunately, we're going to be talking about why and how a lot of women end up not only ran through and for the streets, but also how they end up alone. And oftentimes, it is due to other women promoting a very destructive, toxic, counterproductive lifestyle. Before we get into this, you all, let me go ahead and say this. A lot of women don't like me, right? And they don't like me because I am telling them outright, look, this is not the move. This is not the route you want to go down. See, I give a lot of women a rude reality check. I don't tell them that they can do whatever they want to do. I tell them straight up and down. If you do that, that comes at a price. That comes with great consequences. That's what I tell women. And unfortunately, we live in a day and age to where women want to be told that they're superwoman, right? You can do whatever you want to do. You can be whatever you want to be. There's no consequences for these actions. You'll always come out unscathed. You're always going to come out on top. And that's not true. And because I keep it so real with women, all out of love, all out of trying to look out for them, and maybe they just don't like my delivery, right? Whatever. But nonetheless, I've realized and I've noticed that when it comes to women, we don't like to listen unless somebody gives it to us raw, real, uncut, a little harsh, a little rude, even. Because what I am trying to prevent is more young women coming up behind me, coming up behind you, doing some of the same toxic, counterproductive, harmful things that quite honestly is contributing to our downfalls, the destruction of our communities, the destruction of our families. I'm getting ready to share my screen with you all. And I want you all to really pay attention and listen to the advice that is being given to a lot of young ladies of today by their peers even, right? Let's be honest. When it comes to a lot of young women, we don't have the best of upbringings, we don't have the best of role models. And so when we see these young female rappers, we see these young famous baby mamas, we idolize them. We're listening to what they have to say. Because after all, I want to be popular like her. After all, I want to be rich like her. And y'all have no idea what these young ladies are going through behind the scenes. It looks like it's glitter and gold and it looks lavish and luxurious, but y'all have no idea how much damage is going on internally and externally with these young ladies. Y'all have no idea how much they have lost, how much they are lost. All they're showing you is what they want to show you on social media. They want to show you the glitz and glam. But behind the scenes, they're worse off than you. Oh, hold on. Get over here. 
behind the scenes, these females are worse off than you. And the catch to it all is they want a lot of these young ladies to end up just like them. Why? Because misery loves company. So they'll get on social media and present to you a lifestyle of, hey, I'm living it up. I'm having fun. I'm wild. I'm reckless. I'm free. I got all the riches. I got all the men. And all they are is a bunch of broke, desperate, debt building jump offs. Let's be honest. But hey, I got to make it look good. Because deep down inside, it's not even that deep, to be honest. It's right there on the surface if you look. But deep down inside, these females are crying out for help. They know that they're damaged. They know they got a lot of work to do. But if I can get a crowd to hype me up and make me feel better, That's all that I need to get me by. That's all that I need to get me through. That's all that I need right here, right now to make me feel like my life is not in shambles, but it is. Y'all think these young ladies want to be baby mamas to the most toxic and destructive of men? I'm sorry, males. Y'all think these females want to be out here thotting and bopping? No. But hey, this is the life that they chose. And so, yeah, I got to play this up like I'm good with it. But they're not. But the objective is to fool y'all into believing that they're good with it and that you should want in on it too. Why? Because once again, misery loves company. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Now, I guess my husband was just scrolling on social media and, you know, he sent this link over to me. I believe it's from Mag TV, from what I can see. And he said, hey, did you see this? And so I clicked on the link that he texts over to me and I saw Glorilla. Now, a lot of young ladies idolize and look up to the Glorillas and the Sexy Reds and the Sukiyanas. A lot of young ladies because, you know, to them, it's like, oh, they're wild. They're free. They don't care. They're living their best lives. They're getting to the bag, right? They're actually liberated. But nonetheless, they are looking up to a Glorilla. And so when Glorilla opens up her dumb... Mm, trying to watch my words when glorilla opens up her dumb ass mouth talking about hey young ladies in your 20s do x y and z and one two and three and it's very toxic and destructive advice i get upset by this because this goes against everything that we should be it goes against everything that we should be doing Listen to this, you all. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. This is the advice that Glorilla is giving to the youth, giving to these young girls that are out here looking up to her, idolizing her. And y'all wonder why women keep ending up ran through and alone by their damn selves, struggling, begging for a man, Begging for anybody to come through and help. But the thing is, the men that you really want to be with, by that time that it's ready for you to settle down, they don't want to be with you. You think these men of substance want to be with a Glorilla chick? They don't. And they won't. And here's something else for y'all. Do y'all think that the sisterhood of Glorillas 
is going to be there to help you and pick you up after giving you this type of advice? Hell no. Let's listen. Glorilla on living your best life while you're still young. Hey, ladies, how on you? I'm going to call my twin, and I just want to let y'all know, be toxic for the rest of your 20s. You only get one life. Live your toxic 20s. You never get to be 20 years old, 21, 22, 23, 24, none of that ever again in your life. Be toxic, because don't get in your 30s thinking you could just go slashing ties and doing all this crazy shit. You too old for that now. You too mature. Be toxic for the rest of your 20s. And if you're delusional, turn this shit up a notch. <laughs> <laughs> and she think this shit is fun. hold on this is not funny glorilla silly watch my language excuse my language y'all yeah i know your little big sister get a little bit hot okay um glorilla silly ass okay Is out here telling these young ladies to basically waste their youth. Be as toxic as you want to be. Be as reckless as you want to be. Be as destructive as you can be. Turn it up a notch. If you're out here wrecking shop, you ain't doing it right. You ain't doing enough. Wreck another one. That's what Glorilla is telling these young ladies. Not realizing that by the time you are 30, you're going to be so far behind that you're going to have to spend the rest of your damn life playing catch up. See, your 20s, young ladies, is for building, establishing yourself. Not for you to mess over everything. And then by the time you're 30, you try to play catch up and clean up. No. See, what you need to be doing is putting in the necessary work while you're young. That way, when you hit a certain age, right, you'll be able to be at ease, be more stable. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, life is only going to get harder. The older that you get, life gets harder. So what you need to do is while you're young, Put in the necessary work. That way, it can be a lot more smooth sailing when you are of a certain age. But trying to play catch up in your 30s? Tragic move. Bad move. See, as you get older, more responsibilities are on your plate. Right? You have bills. You may have children. You may have a partner, a significant other. You know, you got your damn self. So, yeah, what you want to do is, while you're younger, put in the foundation. Work on the foundation. The foundation should be set. That way, by the time you are 30, you can just relax. Is it going to be easy? No. Okay? But will it be a lot easier? Yes. So, to tell these young ladies, too, hey, don't save for the future. Don't plan for the future. Don't try to have yourself situated for the future. Instead, be toxic, be disruptive, be counterproductive, be destructive. Yeah, do all of that. And then by the time you're 30, you know, then you try to be more mature. Then you try to establish yourself. No. Do y'all know how many young ladies have taken that advice and now they're 45 with nothing to show for anything? Just a track record of stupid. A track record of a roster of guys that have ran through them. Is that what y'all want for y'all lives? Y'all want men of quality and substance to run from you by the time that you're 30. Because again, you have a track record of being destructive. 
Oh, uh, don't mess with her. She crazy. She'll slash your tires. Oh, uh, don't mess with her. She for the streets. Oh, uh, don't mess with her. She got a bunch of baby daddies. Don't mess with her. You're a liability. Is that really what y'all want? Y'all really want to create this reputation and this life for yourself to where for the rest of your days, you're having to play catch up and clean up. You're having to beg for the next man to take you seriously, to want to take a chance on you. Is that what y'all want? Glorilla is dumb. Any person that listens and follows up behind a Glorilla, you're dumb, okay? It's no other way to put that plainly and pretty. I just can't, all right? That's as plain as I can get it. This is very dumb and tragic advice. Y'all like the video. This, I'm sorry, I just went off like that. It's, it pissed me off. It's a little bit more to go. Hold on. Enjoy the rest of your twins. <laughs> you only get to do this shit one time. Enjoy the rest of your twenties. You only get to do this ish one time. Well, you know what, Glorilla? This is also life. And you also, as far as we know, only get to live one time. So why not make the best choices? Why not make the best decisions? That way for your whole entire life, it can be something that is of quality and substance. Something that you can enjoy. See, that's our problem. We're only living for the moment. We're only living for the right here and right now. You young ladies out there that, that are going to take this advice and listen to Glorilla, I feel sorry for you. This is absolute BS. I'm going to tell y'all, these females that y'all are following up behind and listening to that are giving you the most toxic advice, they're not, I repeat, they are not going to be around to save you and help you. I hope you know that. I hope you know that. Wasn't Glorilla the same chick not too long ago that was complaining about how a lot of these chicks are begging her for money and begging her for handouts and all of that? So, yeah, by you following up behind her advice, and she's telling you to pretty much not think about the future, not plan for the future and waste your youth now, you got to know you can't hit her up for help. Ah, these females, they just need a bunch of handouts and help. I ain't your mama. You better get up and get out and get it like how I had to get it. Ain't nobody give me no handout. I was out here hustling. I was out here getting to it. So, yeah, she's not going to have any concern for you, any remorse for you, any help for you. No, nah. she's going to look at you like, girl, you a grown woman. Because guess what? By the time you're 30, you are a grown woman. So why don't you have anything established for yourself? That's what your 20s was for. Your 20s was to get yourself situated. Now, nobody's saying that you shouldn't have fun and you shouldn't live your life. No, but you can be responsible while doing that. See, I hate how a lot of you young ladies out there really have it in your mind that in order to live your best life, in order to have fun, you have to destroy yourself. You have to destroy everything and everybody around you. You have to be reckless. You have to be toxic. No, you don't have to be toxic to have fun. You don't have to be toxic to live your best life. Do y'all know, I cannot stress this enough. Do y'all know how many women there are out there right now today that thought that they would be able to waste their youth, waste their time, be toxic, 
mess around with a bunch of no good men, sleep around with a bunch of no good men, and still have a good man waiting for them at the end of the tunnel. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Ladies, <laughs> young ladies, the good quality men are not going to wait for you. I repeat, the good quality men are not going to wait for you. I don't know if y'all are witnessing this or realizing this, but the men, they're out of here. The men are focusing on themselves and they're only dealing with other people that are adding on to their lives in a positive manner. Other than that, they don't see you, ma'am. These men are running away from you. You out here bragging about, oh, I'm toxic. Oh, yeah, I, I be turned up and toxic. That's not cute to a grown man of quality and substance. Oh, hell no. You're a liability once again. They're fleeing away from you. They're running away from you. Again, this is a new day and age, a new breed of men. They're not playing around with a liability female. Oh, hell no. If you are not displaying to these men of today that you can add on peace to their lives, make their lives more easier and enjoyable, they don't, they don't want you. They don't want nothing to do with you. Especially if you have a track record of being toxic and ran through. Because let's be clear. This advice right here that Glorilla just gave y'all. This is the recipe for a for the streets female. A for the streets female is the only type of chick that will be out here really engulfing herself in the toxic lifestyle. That means you're not thinking ahead. You're not really taking heed to the people or the company that you have around you. You'll let anybody in. You'll do anything for a good time. You'll do anything to be accepted in the in crowd. And unfortunately, a lot of these young ladies will view a Glorilla as an in crowd type of chick. So she wants to fit in with, with her. They want to fit in with the Glorillas. And she ain't ish. Glorilla out here thotting and bopping. Being toxic. But see, that is their idol. But I want y'all to know this. When y'all see Glorilla in a few more years, if it even takes that long, and she is looking like a scarecrow. I mean, she already close to it, okay? And she's on TV or on social media telling her shoulda, coulda, woulda been story. I want y'all to know. I told you so. I want y'all to know. I told you so. I told you. Don't, don't pattern yourself after her. Because that's the direction that Glorilla is going down. Glorilla will be a has-been. Mark my words. Glorilla is a right here and right now popping, thotting, and bopping chick. That's what she is. Thotting, bopping, and toxic. Is that what y'all want to be? Y'all want to be a shoulda, coulda, woulda story? Because that's what a lot of these females are right now. The same females that took this advice. Oh, why you, why you young girl? You better be out in these streets. You better be out here doing what you want to do. You better be out here being toxic. You better be out here being reckless. You better turn up. What are you at now, sis? A lot of them are heavily on shrugs y'all know what we saying okay you gotta watch out for youtube a lot of them are heavily on shrugs 
A lot of them are shriveled up. A lot of them out here begging for a man, a good man. What a real man that nowhere to be found for you because you are not the ideal woman for said man. This is why women end up alone and ran through. Listening to toxic females like a Glorilla. Listening to toxic advice like how a lot of these females are out here telling y'all, hey, do this, do that. Instructing y'all on how to destroy yourselves. And y unfortunately, y'all listen to it. Y'all don't want to listen to a, a woman like me. Ah, oh, nah, you just a hater. You just a Debbie Downer. You ain't no real women. Okay. Y'all don't know tough love when you hear it. Y'all don't know tough love when you see it. But boy, oh boy, I'll tell you one thing. When it comes to this struggle, y'all getting ready to witness and be a part of, are oh, you going to feel and see that heavy? When y'all see how many men are rejecting y'all, the men that you really want to be with, sis, okay? The men that will provide for you, protect you, lead you, teach you, marry you, settle down with you, love on you. Oh, yeah, those men know where to be found for your type, ma'am. Nowhere to be found for your type. Please don't listen to this. This is trash. When you listen to trash advice, you end up with a trash life. But that's all I wanted to share with you all. Uh, y'all let me know how I feel about this. Have you ever heard this type of advice before growing up? I know a lot of us have, men and women, hey, while you're young, you know, be wild, be reckless, be free, you know, and then once you get older, then you try to settle down. Yeah, no, it doesn't work that way. It, it really doesn't, especially for women. It doesn't turn out that way for us. Not, not in today's time, because the men ain't playing that game. Once a man finds out that you're for the streets and you're a liability, they go the other way. Ain't no clean up men left. But yeah, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts and your feelings and your opinions down below. And I'm going to see you all in the next dope discussion. And remember, young ladies, do not listen to this type of toxic advice. Peace.